Hello, Hoopers. Okay, I'm making this tutorial for my friend Allison. She asked me to kind of focus in on um, barrel rolls that are done with one hand and doing kind of a chest, the a transition from vertical chest hooping to barrel rolls and vice versa. Um, she said that she had been watching a lot of Baxter videos and said that she was um, trying to figure out kind of that flow that he does between um, the transitioning between the two vertical chest hooping, whether it's chest up or chest down and into a barrel roll. So I said for that to know is that it does take a lot of practice to get that fluid motion, you know, flow. So just working a lot on, no, um, working a lot on the thing you're trying to learn is going to make it so it'll be easier for you. And also mirrors and videotaping does help. I know a lot of people don't like to videotape themselves or some I've talked to um, don't necessarily enjoy it, but it does help whether you show anyone or not to see how you move. Love me. Um, so yeah, hopefully this works. I get asked a lot, oh one more thing, I get asked a lot about what size hoop I use and what kind it is and like what not. And um, I use a set of 3 4 30 inch poly naked twins and they just have the gaff tape in the inside and I also have a pair of um, 5 8 30 inch twins that are also poly pro um, and then soon I'm going to get some HDPE 28 inch twins because I'm thinking I'm ready to downgrade a little bit in size. I've been playing with 30s for a while so I'm probably gonna sell those soon and um, I'm actually getting them from Mercury Hoops so you should probably do that too because Christina makes awesome hoops so yeah. Okay so for this tutorial you need to know how to do a barrel roll a two-handed barrel roll since I'm going to explain the one-handed and how to vertical chest hoop pretty well. If you can't do that yet, then I think I have a tutorial kind of on chest tubing. Um, I haven't done one on the barrel roll, but if you guys want me to, I can. Just let me know. But, um, so this trick, it looks something like this. Okay, so I'm going to start off with um, vertical chest hooping into the barrel roll. And I hoop to the left, so I'm going to teach it to the left. Um, I do know how to hoop in my second current, which if you guys don't know what that is yet, um, there's something I learned in Hoop Path, that your first current is your the current that you hoop to most comfortably. So I hoop to the left, and that's my first current, so it's the one that I'm most comfortable with. And second is your opposite current. So sometimes it can be a little more awkward, but learning how to work in both currents is a really good idea, um, especially if you're a new hooper. It'll be a lot easier um, to start out with because I'm just now working on um, certain tricks in my second current. I just now got um, chest hooping and like hooping down, but um, if you are just starting, then work on both directions, so both currents. So, um, for this chest, for um, the vertical chest hooping into the barrel roll, when the hoop is coming to the front of my chest, I take my left hand and I'll, as it's coming around, I grab the hoop, kind of stall it off my body, kind of pull it off, and I'll slide my other hand to the other side of the hoop, so my hands are like this, and from there, I will start my barrel roll. And I'll bring the hoop kind of up, because like, when you're chest hooping, you're kind of more down, and when you're doing the barrel roll, you're going to be here. So as you're barrel rolling, you're slowly bringing the hoop back up here. So once again, so you're chest hooping, I'm taking my left hand, 
grabbing it and barrel rolling out. So that's it's a pretty simple concept. Um, it will take practice and hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to explain going from so now I'm going to explain going from a barrel roll into vertical chest hooping. So, so it looks like this. Okay, so when I'm doing this and I am barrel rolling, you start with the barrel roll, and then I take my right hand. And as I'm coming around, I sort of, so as I'm coming around to the front, I lay the hoop on my back, use the hand that I've grabbed it with, and give it a shove across my chest. So once again, you're coming around from the barrel roll. So once again, you're coming out of the barrel roll, touching the hoop to your back, and using one hand to push the hoop across your chest. So that should that's how I do it. Hopefully that explanation works for you. Um, and then I'm going to do a quick thing on um, one-handed barrel rolls. Um, they look like this. Okay, so when you're doing a one-handed barrel roll, the thing about barrel rolls is making sure you're keeping yourself centered in the hoop and you're not letting it walk around or do anything weird at any angle. So you want to make sure when you're learning the barrel roll, you're really keeping that hoop on the same plane that it started with as if you were isolating. So. One-handed barrel roll, you're going to obviously take away one hand. You can do whatever you want with it. Some people might put it behind their back. Some people, um, I've seen people, it looks really pretty when they do this, um, taking your hand out and bringing it around. Um, but let's just stick to the basics. Um, I hold the hoop in the same place it was as if I was doing a barrel roll and you just have to really work on keeping yourself centered in the hoop. So sometimes it helps to look in a mirror and um, what you can do actually is maybe even only slightly put your hand where it might be if you're doing a barrel roll just to understand where it's going to be. So. That should hopefully help, and um, once you get that, you can maybe only... You... Okay, so once you get that, you can really work on even doing one-handed barrel rolls and the chest hooping, and it's pretty much just using the hand that you're going to push the hoop onto your chest with. That's the hand that you're going to hold onto the hoop with as you barrel roll. Okay, so that was pretty basic. Hopefully that made sense. Um, I feel like since it wasn't so complex, it didn't. Well, maybe it really didn't make sense. I always freak out that my videos won't make sense. So just let me know. Allison, I hope this helped you, and I love you very much. And thank you for your friendship and support. And yes. You are awesome, and you're a beautiful hooper, and I hope you and Michael are happier than ever, and I can't wait to come home and see you guys. So, yes. Love you. Mwah. Bye.